Hi there, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, I found this little gem on eBay recently and I thought it might be of interest to many more of you if you do any kind of engraving on your CNC. Yeah, so today what I want to talk about is engraving bits uh, and in particular a diamond drag bit I found on eBay which I think you'll find very very interesting. But before we get to that, these are the, the sort of typical bits that we had been using in the past. This is a typical I don't know, half a bit, I don't know what you call it, but it's a standard V-bit. This particular one is a 6mm shank, a 60 degree angle on the V-bit, and it has a, a 0.2mm tip. And you can get the, the tips in different sizes for different um, styles of engraving. Uh, then, of course, we've got the, uh, the usual standard, I think this is again 60 degree, 0 0.01 uh, pointy bit. Um, the typical Chinese uh, eBay, Amazon, that kind of thing. Um, they both work, they both make lovely engravings like this, which is fantastic because we do a lot on 1050 aluminium, it's very soft, and we get this lovely tactile 3D effect, uh, which you know can vary uh, for depending on the depth of engraving uh, and indeed uh, the sharpness of the bit at the time but one thing it does leave is it leaves a lot of burrs on the inside of the the, the cut itself or the engraving itself which is fine uh, because obviously we can buff it down afterwards on a small part like this not a problem uh, and in fact when it is polished up it looks quite smart uh, but it does take a lot of grinding and we do have to go quite deep to get this nice 3D effect. Um, but this is a small keyingy part, it works very well uh, for that um, and there's no problem. And in fact we like that particular style, it just needs quite a bit of cleaning up. Then of course we have uh, the other style uh, such as this one here and you can see straight away the problem on this particular uh, engraving. Half the text is missing or very light. I don't know how you can see that. Uh, and indeed, some of it is quite thick and dark. And what's happened here, we've put the, the piece that this has been cut off from on the bed. Uh, and for whatever reason, the bed just isn't a lever or even, even over a small distance like this. And when you want a light engraving, you know, we're talking about uh, fractions of a millimetre engraving down into this. Uh, one bit can be graved too heavy, another bit can miss out completely, and that doesn't matter whether you use that style or that style. And it's an ongoing battle, uh, particularly if you like us, we use sheet all the time, so we're, we're not using small blanks or pre-cut blanks. We, you know, we buy a sheet. This particular piece might have only been A4 size; it might not have even been a big bit of uh, brass. Uh, but even so, on this bed, even after it's just been skimmed, uh, we we find this can happen here because we skim it. Um, with the vacuum off and then as soon as we turn the vacuum on when we're holding big sheets you know that pulls it out of shape then factor in all the grooves and uh, islands that it that cuts in when you're cutting different thicknesses or indeed the very fact that around where we are where, the, where my unit is uh, we suffer from uh, wild atmospheric changes we're right by the seaside literally you know 30 yards uh, from the, the sea from the Irish Sea here um, just because of that, the, the salty sea air is all, always around us uh, and it does impact on the, the MDF bed. So, what is the solution? Well, the solution appeared to be a diamond drag bit. We haven't been out about this for quite some time, mainly because most of them are in the United States and uh, by the time you've got them over to the UK, we're into sort of a hundred pound just for one bit. That's a big gamble if it didn't work and didn't do what we wanted to do. And then the other day, I found on eBay this little beauty spring-loaded, diamond-coated engraving bit. But this one was less than half the price of the ones from the United States. And I thought to myself, hmm, is it too good to be true? Well, it was worth the punt to find out. So now then, it's a standard 90-degree uh, industrial diamond-tipped bit at the top. Um, the actual shaft itself is... Uh, replaceable or the with the, the diamond uh, bit in so you can buy new internal bits uh, should this one get too blunt uh, so there is replacement parts available it's got the usual 
Allen screw, set screw in the bottom for adjusting both the tension and indeed replacing uh, the spring loaded tip bit. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, they would call it the bit in the shaft, uh, the bit, uh, you know, when you need to do that. It comes in its own little wallet with a includes the Allen key, obviously, and a set of instructions on what to do and how to use it. Now, naturally, these bits, as you'll know, run without the spindle being operated. Uh, so they are literally a drag bit, so you, you drag it across material, uh, and that's how they work. Now then, when I ordered this, uh, you could specify there's different uh, shank diameters you can order, depending on what you want. Uh, I went for a 7mm shank, because I thought, oh, that'd be great in my 7mm collet. I don't use the 7mm that often, I could, you know, assign it to this and it could sit there quite happily. The trouble is I found out that the 7mm only applies to this end piece, and it didn't quite go in enough for me. I mean, it's probably going to be fine. I'm just one of these. I like to have a, you know, it to have a, a decent amount of shaft inside holding it. So I now put it back on the eight millimeter and put it sort of halfway down uh, this thicker piece. So I've not achieved anything by holding the seven. Everyone's got a different, so therefore, I, you know, I like to keep it uh, right in the collar. But anyway, that's the part. I will say that one thing I did find is that the uh, spindle itself isn't quite concentric. Uh, it is uh, there is a bit of run up, but it, it, I've never found it to be a problem. But uh, Philly should be aware. So there we go. Uh, diamond coated spring loaded bit for engraving on the CNC. We've tested it in brass. I've tested it on stainless steel. I've tested it on. Well, we've done quite a bit of aluminium because that's what our, most of our work is, and it's come up trumps every time. And you can see it on the brass. Um, you can see that, hopefully. There you go. It does do a very, very good job. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. And the cool thing is, it's only 40 quid. That's delivered. What's not to like? Anyway, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below. I will point out that we are, uh, although we're nothing to do with the bit itself, uh, we do have uh, a network agreement with eBay, so if you do purchase, then we may get some commission via eBay if you use the link. Um, but other than that, go and have a look, see what you think. I think they're well worth the investment, and for £40, um, you're well away. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.